A street party on the south side of Muncie turned into the scene of a deadly shooting early Sunday morning. One man died, 19 others were treated at Ball Memorial Hospital's emergency room and four were taken to other hospitals. 13 victims remain hospitalized in stable condition. After the mass shooting, police announced that there is no current danger to the general public. Stranger comes up and decides to take it personal on somebody he knows in the crowd said one anonymous man who claimed his nephew was the block party's disc jockey. And you can't fight against an AR. He let loose in the crowd. Everywhere in the crowd. The Delaware County coroner identified the deceased victim as 30-year-old Joseph Bonner. There's no indication if Bonner played an active role in the shooting, whether any other victims are suspected of firing guns or if any firearms were recovered. A witness at IU, Ball Memorial Hospital in Muncie described a scene of emergency department chaos with more than a hundred people descending on the facility, many of which were victims that were transported by private vehicles. Officers from several agencies, including a Muncie-based FBI agent, secured the crime scene and collected evidence at South Hackley and East Willard Streets while doctors and nurses treated the wounded from the mass casualty event. By midday, Detectives were still walking the debris-strewn street and parking lot with brown bags filled with collected evidence. A tow truck was also seen hauling away a bullet-riddled red Buick that appeared to have crashed during an attempt to leave the scene. It is too early in the investigation for me to say much, Delaware County Prosecutor Eric Hoffman wrote in a statement. I can say that I have been in contact with the Muncie Chief of Police, and I continue to get updates on the investigation. There are far too many guns on the street, and I certainly question the wisdom of someone having a huge outdoor party with several hundred people, including juveniles, carrying on into the early morning hours. Let's take a dose of reality. This is not the Vegas Strip or Times Square. This is a residential neighborhood. The Muncie Homecoming Festival Committee issued a statement on the shooting, noting that the street party where the shooting happened was not part of the official MHF celebration going on this week. Muncie Park Superintendent Carl Malone told he chaired a neighborhood crime watch meeting last Thursday, and residents expressed fear that this weekend could turn volatile. Malone said Muncie has not had a community-wide gun violence initiative since 2015. Malone said he will meet with the city's police leadership Monday morning to review the shooting and plans for keeping Muncie streets safe the rest of the summer. The disc jockey's uncle, whose sister was wounded, said there used to be certain unspoken rules about taking a personal beef into the streets.